The Archon's comment upon this order I find to have been of this sense. My lords, to crave pardon for a word or two in further explanation of what was read, I shall briefly show how the constitution of this tribe or assembly answers unto their function, and how their function, which is of two parts, the former in the result of legislative power, the latter in the supreme judicature of the commonwealth, answers unto their constitution. Machiavel hath a discourse where he puts the question whether the guard of liberty be with more security to be committed unto the nobility or to the people which doubt of his ariseth through the want of explaining his term for the guard of liberty can signify nothing else but the result of the commonwealth so that to say that the guard of liberty may be committed unto the nobility is to say that the result may be committed unto the senate in which case the people signify nothing now to show it was a mistake to affirm it to have been thus in lacedaemon sufficient hath been spoken and whereas he will have it to be so in venice also Caelo, saith contarini appresso il quale è la somma autorita di tutta la città e dalle leggi e decreti dei quali pende la autorità così del senato come ancora di tutti i magistrati e il consiglio grande it is instit institutively in the great council by the judgment of all that know that commonwealth though for the reasons shown it be sometimes exercised by the senate nor need i run over the commonwealths in this place for the proof of a thing so doubtless and such as hath been already made so apparent as that the result of each was in the popular part of it the popular part of yours or the prerogative tribe consisteth of seven deputies whereof three are of the horse annually elected out of every tribe of oceana which being fifty amounteth unto one hundred and fifty horse and two hundred foot and the prerogative consisting of three of these lists consisteth of four hundred and fifty horse and six hundred foot besides those of the provinces to be hereafter mentioned by which means in the overbalance in the suffrage remaining unto the foot by one hundred and fifty votes you have unto the support of a true and natural aristocracy the deepest root of a democracy that hath been planted wherefore there is nothing in art or nature better qualified for the result than this assembly it is noted out of cicero by machiavel that the people albeit they are not so prone to find out the truth of themselves as to follow custom or run into error yet if they be shown truth they not only acknowledge and embrace it very suddenly but are the most con constant and faithful guardians and conservators of it it is your duty and office whereunto you are also qualified by the orders of this commonwealth to have the people as you have your hawks and greyhounds in leases and slips to range the fields and beat the bushes for them for they are of a nature that is never good at this sport but when you spring to or start their proper quarry think not that they will stand to ask you what it is or less know it than the the hawks and greyhounds do theirs but forthwith make such a flight of course that a huntsman may as well undertake to run with his dogs or a falconer to fly with his hawk as an aristocracy at this game to compare to compare with the people the people of rome were seized upon no less prey than the empire of the world when the nobility turned tails and perched among daws upon the tower of monarchy for though they did not all of them intend the thing 
they would none of them endure the remedy, which was the agrarian. But the prerogative tribe hath not only the result, but is the supreme judicature of the ultimate appeal in this commonwealth, for the popular government that makes, a, makes account to be of any standing must make sure in the first place of the appeal unto the people, ante omnes di prova, provocatione adversus uh, magistratus ad populum sacrandoque cum bonis capite eius qui re, regni occupandi concilia in, uh, ini, iniset. As an estate in trust becomes a man's own if he be not answerable for it, so the power of the magistracy, magistracy not accountable unto the people from whom it was received becoming of private use, the commonwealth loses her liberty. Wherefore, the right of supreme judicature in the people, without which there can be no such thing as popular government, is confirmed by the constant practice of all commonwealths, as that of Israel in the cases of Achan and the tribe of Benjamin, uh, judged by the congregation. The disca, uh, dica, dicasterion, or court called the Heliaia in Athens, which the comitia of that commonwealth consisting of the whole people, and so being too numerous to be judicatory, was constituted sometimes to five, 500, at others of 1,000, or according to the greatness of the cause of 1,500, elected by the lot out of the whole body of the people, and had with the nine archons that were presidents the cognizance of such causes as were the highest importance in that state. The five ephors in Lacedaemon, which were popular magistrates, might question their kings, as appears by the cases of Posianus and of Aegis, who, being upon his trial in this court, was carried unto by his mother to appeal unto the people, as Plutarch hath it in his, in his life. The tribunes of the people of Rome, like in their nature of their magistracy, and for some time in number unto the ephors, as being according unto Halicarnassus and Plutarch, instituted in imitation of them, had power diem dicere, to summon any man, his magistracy at least being expired, for from the dictator there lay no appeal, to answer for himself unto the people, as in the case of Coriolanus, which was going about to force the people, by withholding corn from them in a famine, to relinquish the magistracy of the tribunes in that of uh, uh, of Cassius for effecting tyranny, of M. Sergius for running away at Veii, or C. Uh, Lucretius for spoiling his province, of Junius Silanus for making war against the Cimbri in Usu Populi with diverse others. And the crimes of this nature were called Lese Mai. Ma majestatis, examples of such as were arraigned, or tried for peculation or defraudation of the commonwealth, where M. Curious, for intercepting the money of the Samnites, Salinator, for the unequal division of spoils unto his soldiers, M. Pothumius, for cheating the commonwealth by a feigned shipwreck, Causes of these two kinds were of more public nature, but the like power upon appeals was also exercised by the people in private matters, even during the time of the kings, as in the case of Horatius. Nor is it otherwise with Venice, where Doge Loredano was sentenced by the great council, and Antonio Grimani, afterwards Doge, questioned for that he, being admiral, had suffered the Turk to take Lepanto in view of his fleet. Nevertheless, there lay no appeal from the Roman dictator unto the people, which, if there had, might have cost the commonwealth dear, when Melius, affecting empire, circumvented the 
and debauched the tribunes, whereupon T. Quintius uh, Cincinnatus was created dictator, who, having chosen Servilius Ahala to be his lieutenant or magister equitum, sent him to apprehend Melius, whom, while he disputed the commands of the dictator and implored the aid of the people, Ahala cut off upon the place, by which example you may see if in that in what causes the dictator may prevent the blow, which is ready sometimes to fall ere the people be aware of the danger. Wherefore there lies no appeal from the Dieci in Venice unto the great council, or from our council of war to the people. For the way of proceeding of this tribe of the ballad, or, or the ballad, it is as was once said of all Venetian. This discourse, de judiciis, whereupon we are fallen, bringeth us rather naturally than of design from the two general orders of every commonwealth, that is to say, from the debating part, or the senate, and the resolving part, or the people, to the third, which is the executive part, or the magistracy, whereupon I shall have no need to dwell. For the executive magistrates of this commonwealth are the strategus in arms, the seniory in their several courts, as the chancery, the exchequer, as also the councils in diverse cases within their institutions, the censors, as well in their proper magistracy, as in the council of religion, the tribunes in the government of the prerogative, and that judicatory, and the judges with their courts, of all which so much is already said or known as may suffice. The Tuesday lectures or orations unto the people will be of great benefit unto the Senate, the prerogative, and the whole nation. Unto the Senate, because they will not only teach your senators elocution, but keep the system of the government in their memories. Elocution is of great use unto our senators, for if they do not understand rhetoric, giving it at this time for granted that the art were not otherwise good, and come to treat with or vindicate the cause of the commonwealth against some other nation that is good at it, the advantage will be subject to remain upon the merit of the art, and not upon the merit of the cause. Furthermore, the genius or soul of this government being in the whole and in every part, they will never be of ability and determination upon any particular, unless at the same time they have an idea of the whole. That this, therefore, must be, in that regard, of equal benefit unto the prerogative, is plain, though these have a greater con concernment in it. For this commonwealth is the estate of the people, and a man, you know, though he be virtuous, yet, if he be not if he do not understand his estate, may run out or be cheated of it. Last of all, the treasures of the politics will be this by will by this means be so opened, rifled, and dispersed that this nation will as soon dote like the Indians upon glass beads as disturb your government with whimsies and freaks of mother wit or suffer themselves to be stuttered out of their liberties. There is not any reason why your grandees, your wise men of this age, that laugh out and openly at a commonwealth as the most ridiculous thing, do not appear to be, as in this regard they are, mere idiots, but that the people have not eyes.